Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the deal? Live and direct, man. This is King Eric Productions in the building, man. What's good with y'all in the Instagram universe right now? Been a busy day, man. Been a busy day. I've been on the on the go, man. Providing this content and all this stuff. I just did a video talk about Hulk Hogan coming back. On you can check that out on the YouTube, man. Hulk Hogan trying to come back from retirement. He got one more leg drop, brother. So we gonna see where we going with that. I doubt it, man. I doubt this nigga. If he do one leg drop, his ribs, his his whole hip is gonna shatter like a like a like a bowl of crackers, man. He ain't got that. He ain't gonna do that no more. Oh, that's cat. But nevertheless, man. I wanted to do this video here because I had an epiphany. You know, I had an epiphany of what's going on and how I observe the world and how they control people, number one. And it's real big business right now. It's a lot of big business that's involved. And the big business right now is fear. What do you mean by that, King? What you talking about? They know how to control people, and I've seen a monument of this information within the past several years. They use fear tactics, they use clickbait, they use headlines. These media platforms, even the ones that you go to regularly on social media, fight like from Say Cheese, um, Shade Room, all of these platforms make millions off your fear. I'm going to give you a good example. Hold on one second. They make money off your fear. They make money off your division. They make money off your trauma. They make a whole lot of money off your um, confusion. And your most important, your fear. So I'm going to show y'all something right quick. You go to shade. You go to places like Spiritual World. Spiritual World, they done got a new bag now. Because you notice they've been pumping more of this division. They've been pumping more of this... Uh, separatism they've been pumping more of this um, fear I'm going to show y'all something right quick hold on one second I'm going to give y'all a good example of what I've been talking about they getting paid millions per hour to do this as a matter of fact hold on I'm going to show y'all something because this is where we at with it right now You gotta. that's why you got to unlock yourself from the universe of this man because it can really get with your brain now look at this I'm going to show y'all something Hold on, I'm going to show y'all this right quick. Look at the, some of these headlines. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all something. Hold on, let me get this real quick. Look at this. Japanese scientists claim lab-grown babies could be reality. It's 2028. Then you have another one. Hold on, I'm going to show you some more. The FDA has approved Elon Musk's brain chip company, Neuralink, to launch its first human clinical study. Then you have another one. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all some more. Look at this one. China is dealing with a new C-19 variant wave that could cause up to 65 million cases per weekly. Now, why we ain't hear this on the news? Why we ain't hear this on the news? Then you got your gossip right there with Kim Kardashian. Then you got your stuff about gender wars that's going on. You got this. Ladies, when some of you talk about not doing wifey things for men or basically just cater to a man, why don't you include sex and popping out babies? You can bend over, fold like a pretzel, suck, eat, but you can't draw the line with cooking and cleaning. There go your culture wars. Then you just celebrities. Little Devon. Nobody scammed black people more in the, in the pandemic more than black people. I witnessed this in my own eye. Niggas finessed their own people and made millions. They took advantage of y'all ambition. That's creating the divide amongst black people. They're going to highlight that. So, where are we going with this? Well, there's another fear. Fear mongering. Look at this. Who chief Tedros Adedamo whatever his name is, wanted threat of another pandemic emerging, deadly than COVID. So now you're scared of that. Then you got more division right here. Derek Jenks records sex tapes with other women and got his ex-wife, Deanna Jack, to study them in order to please him. But he was busy preaching to women about how to avoid men like him. Now you got your division right here. You don't see nothing positive. 
Nothing positive. Nothing uplifting. Carly Ray, Tina Turner, rest in peace to her. You might have one post, which was this one. Fetty Wap, sentenced to six years in prison. Son appears to have mental breakdown when his mother refused to let him go outside. I want you to beat my A. That's more trauma. A lot of men got a fear of being used for money they don't even have. There go the division right there. You see what's just going on. It's the thought pattern. It's playing with your thought patterns. You know what I mean? Now, they're profiting off all this because you look on every one of these posts. They get millions and millions and millions of people chiming in every single hour. Glorilla. Then you got this one. Woman said, man should have made a way. You're the man. You have a penis. Go get a job. Three jobs. Two side hustles to buy me the things I want because I'm a woman. Now you got the gender divide once again. This is what we're dealing with, man. They're pumping this fear in you. And it don't stop there. This is some of your intakes. I'm going to show you something else. Hold on. one second. something else. I'm going to show you guys something else, man. This is another example. Then, if y'all if y'all don't go there, this is where else y'all go. Y'all go to, um, what's another one? Say Cheese. Say Cheese TV. Hold on. I'm going to show you what he be posting. This is where y'all get y'all daily media. Nothing positive so far. I'm going to show you this. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you what Say Cheese be posting. Look at he at. 2.4 million followers. Look at what he got. Bank Road Fresh explained why the ran doing a robbery incident involved police officers. Another one. Former SOB RBE member Lou G had pleaded non accused of voluntary landslaughter and received a 21 sentence in prison. He was arrested in 2019 and charged with first degree murder. There you go. The nigga shit. Then you got your little sports thing to lighten things up. Then you got the imagery of niggas with money that everybody want to be like. Then you got the, the drama, celebrity drama with Kim Kardashian saying Kim Kanye West will be shenanigans with more damage than her kids in the sex tape. Then you got people arguing over there. Just like they did over there with uh, Spiritual World. Then on top of that, then you got Quando Rondo says he wish he could take back all the time he exposed his business on the internet. Okay. Then you got the rapper, the typical rapper, showing the money bands in the bag. Then you got, it's more trauma. Crime. Niggas doing niggas stuff. All, every new rapper looks the same. Look at these dudes. They either got jail records. They sipping on a cup. They got a stack of money. Look at all these, these dudes basically look the same. Look at this. Same thing. Money stacks. He might throw a fun post here and there, but this is what everybody be um indulging. Everybody be indulging in this cell, in this stuff every day. Hold on now. I'm going to show you something else. Hold on one second. Look at your news right here. Now, what's the newest news? The debt ceiling. Let me tell you this. Biden McCarthy appears two-year deal on debt ceiling. And you got... Um, one minute they're talking about they're going to cut everything. Your economy about to go to shit. You better prepare. You better save money. It's doomsday. They love selling the doomsday effect to people to have you panicking. And every day you leave in the house, you paranoid. You paranoid. I ain't even get into the to the shootings of uh, these youngsters. and um, I ain't even get into the crime element. But this trauma is online, y'all. The trauma is really online. Like, look at the news that y'all indulge in every single day. None of this stuff is positive. None of it is. None of it is. 
I haven't seen anything positive, really. You might find something to laugh at here and there, but what you're laughing at, you're laughing at somebody's trauma. You're laughing at a mugshot. You're laughing at somebody getting slapped. You're laughing at somebody getting embarrassed. You're not laughing at anything legitimately funny. Like, this is what is going on. This is why you got people so messed up in the head right now, man. Like, they really messed up in the head. That's why everybody is on guard, man. Like, everybody's on edge. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to my other page. I'm going to get this one of my favorite ones. Big shout out to the Kali.com. But I'm going to read you some of the topics. I'm going to read you some of the topics. And it's nothing but negativity, man. Like, you don't see anything good. Pete Karen, New York and New York fake cried that a bruh stole her bite. Update having received. That's one of the incidents. Then we talk about the choking incident. Then we talk about the police, man, beat the beat the death doing traffic stop. Then we talking about um Tina Turner being a big winch. Then we talking about um UK bro walks into a strange home and steals old woman's dog. Boasts about going free to court. You know, stuff like that. And don't make me don't get me started on hip hop. Don't get me started on hip hop, man. Cause I can read y'all BS all day on hip hop. Well, we got DJ Envy and Rick Ross. You got uh Patrick Clark officially charged with takeoffs murder. Then you got the the drill scene. Then you got Ghostface Killer Son blasted for being a deadbeat. Nothing good. Nothing really good. Nothing but drama. DJ Academics and um, going to NBA Young Boy. Then you got Charleston White. None of this stuff is ever good, man. And y'all indulge in this every day. And you wondering why people are miserable. Why people are upset and angry all the damn time. It's because of what you intake. Add the fact that you got statistics out there that makes you feel like that you're nothing. Add the statistics that make it be like black people on the bottom of the barrel on everything. You know what I'm saying? That low divides your self-esteem right there. That divides your self-esteem level. So, meanwhile, all these companies are profiting off of our trauma and pain. All of them are. Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, Viacom. These social media plat pages that you see every day. They all get in the bag and, and exploiting black people in their trauma. In our division, in our relationships, and to where we can't really build nothing. They keeping us divided. That's the problem, man. That's the problem, man. They are making millions off of our fear. Our fears of the unknown. Every hour you hear of, well, this debt, if this debt ceiling don't go up, then you're going to have people being kicked out of their homes. 60 million people may lose their social security. People, they're going to lose their pension. They're going to lose their benefit. Then after that, you're hearing about, oh, you hear about the new disease that's out right now? You better take care. Or better yet, mass shooting here. Mass shooting there, mass shooting here, mass shooting there. Trauma, man. Trauma every single day. And you got people, how often, if you look at the mathematics, how often do you think people are on their phones? They're on their phones like 17 hours of the 24-hour day. It used to be that way, but I would probably say even more now. I'd probably say even 20 hours of the day now. And they're indulging all this shit. All of it, every single day. And you wonder why they messed up. You know? Just look at your news cycle every day. You don't see nothing good. None. You don't see nothing good ever on the news, man. Nothing. And it's been like that since 2018. But now, they figured out a way to profit off of this. 
Every day you're hearing about Republicans doing this. Every day you hear about the Democrats doing this. There's nothing wrong to being alert and aware, but this is all you see. You're going to be like, damn, what's the point of even living? If this is all we got to see, we might as well just throw in the towel. That's what they're designing you to do. The lower your self-value, the lower your self-esteem, man. Dead serious. That's why you got to tune yourself out of this sometime, y'all. You got to tune yourself out of the universe, man. You got to tune yourself out of the webiverse or the metaverse or whatever. Go outside and experience life. Go outside and experience nature. Go outside and experience meeting new people without using this shit, without using this gadget. You know what I mean? You'll enjoy your life. You'll, you'll feel free. Tune yourself out of this, man, because it's driving people nuts. And see, they made it to where you need this like bread, like bread and water. Why do you think people act crazy when they lose their phone? Because they put now they got it to where they put everything into it. You put your social security, your passwords, your job information, your date of birth, your uh, your passwords, your credit cards, your debit cards, your food stamp card. Everything is on that phone now. That's your life now. I don't know, man, but that's just how I be thinking, man. But I be like, yeah, they are profiting heavily off of us right now. Mass media is making millions of dollars an hour off of people being scared. Now we live in a space where, oh, I don't trust nobody. I'm my, I'm on my own. That's why I ride solo. Now you don't have no gatherings. Now you don't, you're not together. All because of all these fears that you see polluted within you. You see all this that they force feed it into you. You see other people's experience. You think that's going to happen to you. You don't know until you try. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I'm at with it right now, man. So I just wanted to get that out there. And just, you know, just to put a message out there that these people are making millions off of your fear. I wanted to put information about that out there for y'all to grasp. So, I'm out for tonight. Peace.